I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by the president of the APA, uh, Dr. John Oldham. Dr. Oldham, thank you for joining us. Happy to do so. Isn't it fantastic to be here in uh, Philadelphia, which in many ways is the home of the APA? It is great. It's a great city, wonderful place to have our meeting, very central, but also the location of the first meeting of what became the American Psychiatric Association and also the birthplace of Benjamin Rush, who's widely known as the father of modern psychiatry. So it's a very historic place and historic for our organization too. Now the theme of this year's conference is integrated care and I believe you were instrumental in coming up with that theme. Talk to us a little bit about that. Um, I did pick integrated care as the theme and I felt that it was really important because one of the sort of platforms and priorities that I identified early on is that psychiatry is part of the house of medicine. And I think we really need to understand that we're talking about brain disorders that are very, very complex and involve the whole body, not just that they're mental or psychological. Those are important dimensions. Furthermore, healthcare reform is moving fast. Whatever happens in terms of uh, specifics of healthcare reform, the market forces are changing and we're moving into a different model of treatment, which really has to do with a partnership between psychiatry and primary care and family medicine and pediatrics. And we've all got to partner together and work together. Psychiatry's got to have a place at that table. So that's why I thought it was really important at this point in time to just pick that as the main theme. It's, as you say, it's a very timely topic. It is. It's, it's really what's happening in terms of health care. We're moving away from our more traditional model where we'll still do a lot of it, but the notion of sort of private practice, office-based treatment, though that still will continue, is not as prevalent as it used to be, and people are working in organizations and in hospitals and in institutions side by side with the rest of medicine. And to me, that's actually encouraging because I think that's what brain disorders are and we need to work to educate other people as, as well as our colleagues uh, in the rest of medicine. Now when you pick up the guide and have a look through it, there's so much great content isn't there this week? Hard to pick. Actually one of the biggest problems that people who come to the meeting is that there are about four or five all in the same time slot that they want to go to. So you, you've got to pick and choose and that's hard. Um, we will have several that are on the theme of integrated care. So uh, there's a whole track that will really be informative for people who are specifically interested in that. Um, several symposia, one presidential symposium that's going to be co-chaired by Wayne Caton and um, uh, Dr. Jurgen Unitzer, and they're both very, very clear and established services researchers in this area. But there'll be lots of other special tracks. We have a military and veterans track that's really got a special flyer that you can pick up on the, uh, on the, uh, outside the registration booth. And that's really one that a lot of interest uh, is uh, developing in. I'm going to chair a forum on Monday morning that will be really interesting It's part of that track, looking at post-traumatic stress disorder and how the military looks at it. Uh, with the former uh, vice chief of staff, the Army is one of the people participating and a number of others. But there are lots of other special features. We have a Frontiers of Science series that we usually have with some fabulous lectures, uh, people like uh, Helen Mayberg, Marsha Linehan, Peter Fonagy. We've got some special award lectures, one of which is the Adolf Meyer Award, and Eric Kandel, the Nobel Prize laureate, is going to be talking. And we've got lots of other very special lectures. We also have um, a special track that we have every year from NIH. This year it's NIAAA alcohol abuse and alcoholism and there are a whole series with a special program for uh, scientific work going on and sponsored by NIAAA. I'm just mentioning a couple, there are many many more um, uh, and it's throughout the whole meeting I think just terrific uh, program content. And I believe the opening session on Sunday is an opening session with a difference. Well that's right, the opening session is going to be on Sunday as it always is and that's where I'll make my speech as well as the uh, uh, response to that speech by the President-elect Dr. Dilip Jeste. Uh, but we decided to have a special programmatic piece as well and it's actually going to be quite wonderful. Uh, it's going to be a conversation between Dr. Aaron or Tim as he's called, Beck, who I guess you could refer to as the founder of the father of cognitive therapy and Dr. Glenn Gabbard who's sort of Mr. Psychodynamic Psychotherapy. And they're going to be talking about the similarities and the differences between these two approaches to psychotherapy. I'll be moderating it. And I think it'll just be a really interesting special feature that'll be uh, very interesting to 
the entire people uh, group who are attending here. Well, Dr. Oldham, thank you ever so much indeed for joining us today on APA TV. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.